Hi guys, um, thanks for coming. Sorry we kept you waiting a little bit. Um, just told the team, you know, really happy to be where we are heading into finals. Um, certainly because the record is good, but more importantly, because I still think we can even get better. I do think they're really trying to listen to my messages and buy into what we need to do. Um, again, I think you see the balance on offense. A lot of the scoring production came from the front court. You know, Nina, Christine, Courtney, Chen, but. The balance was seen in how well the guards distributed the ball. Uh, I think we're, we're fighting to just play the best 40 minutes we can and even not look at the scoreboard. I think we did a better job of that today. Gave up too many points um, in two quarters, um, probably too many, put them on the free throw line too many times, but overall, a pretty complete game. And you know, I think it catapults us into finals um, with some confidence and I, and I think a hunger to keep getting better because we, we go, our goals are kind of shifting as we go. And you know, now we, we want to win all of them. So got to keep getting back to work. I don't even like. I don't notice that. I'm thinking about the next possession, getting a stop, the score. I don't know. I know they want their teammates to be successful, but I don't know if they look at the total score. I guess at the end, I saw we were like at 96 or something. I was like, I was gonna get 100, <laughs> but it's cool. Like getting a win is always great. So it doesn't matter what the score at the end of the day. Honestly, I didn't even know until MC told me. Um, what game? The 100th game. Oh, um, cool. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't know, but it's a, it's a nice feeling, and I'm happy, and I'm just ready to keep playing more games. We got a lot to go. What kind of growth do you see um, in this group this season already so far? Coach mentioned that she thinks there's a chance you guys can be even better. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of growth from the end of the year last year to spring to summer, the, our 30 day boot camp of practice that we've had and from our first game to now, like there's been a lot of growth and maturity where I feel like we're developing really well. There's still a lot more that, you know, we can do and we're just taking it practice by practice, game by game. And then, yeah. I've got a couple. <laughs> uh, I just think continuing uh, to grow our mental toughness, which is about doing the best thing on the next play. So whether you're up 20, up 10, down three, how do we get a stop, right? So just kind of get making us the toughest team because we know we'll come back 12, that's what you need. Yeah. Second thing I would say is um, we do mixed defenses a lot. So really being great at every defense, it, we show flashes of it consistently. I would say, um, y y you know, being able to, to focus not just on the scoreboard, which is good. I mean, the results are good, but on being the greatest team we can be. I think the balance inside out is there. Um, we've had that kind of all year. So, so keep continuing with that, but also just defensively saying, okay, we're going we're gonna to punish people when we can. I mean, exponentially. Like, I, when I talk to my coaching friends on the road, I go recruiting. The biggest difference is, you know, having essentially everyone back, almost everyone back. It's that we knew that we had really talented players last year. And again, you see it at times. I mean, we had great wins. But this year, it's now that, especially the returners, they understand what great feels like because they experience that. And they understand what not so great feels like, and they don't want to experience that again. So it's like, it's not just talent anymore. It's talent with that practices better. It's talent that understands what we want. It's talent that's a little more mature. This is also the first time since our Final Four team that I haven't started a freshman, right? And our, our freshmen are doing great, that we wouldn't be where we are without them. But it's because we have more veterans, it allows the freshmen to kind of make some mistakes um, that, that they're entitled to make, and it doesn't you know, hurt the team, and it kind of brings everyone along together. When you look at a team like Lehigh, she's starting three freshmen. They're going to be just fine in their conference and further down the road. but. Exceptional freshmen can certainly play right away, but to do the consistency of college, we had so many young people last year, everyone now kind of understands what we expect of them more, and they're more committed to doing that above all else, above a bad day, above a, you know, sickness or whatever. It's like the team goal is the most important thing. How do you have to balance practice this week with finals coming up? Yeah, um, we have great students. Uh, we have kids who are 
legitimately student athletes who came here for the degree and the school, and I like coaching players like that. The best part is I think a lot of them have done a lot of work all semester that's not like cramming time, and they've been working. Um, but we'll give them a couple days off. They, a, they've earned that body-wise, body and I'm not always a more is more person, but to get on top of things. Um, so we'll give them a couple days off. We'll practice another day off for finals. And I think the timing works out well where we're kind of get it behind us and then be able to focus on, on um, Vegas. I think it's good because they know school's important. Um, and at the same time, like, I think they're so hungry to keep doing things that when I get them in there for the gym practice, they'll, it'll be a good break for them from finals and, and we'll get better and then I'll get them out quick. I thought it was really meaningful just to play and just like really just come together and just really play for Pat. And I was super excited because I saw Lindsay's quote and that really motivated me. Um, it was about like playing after, like playing, like building mental toughness basically. So I really like quotes like that and it motivated me coming into the game. I just felt like we all try to play for her and just play more together as a team. Yeah, um, I would agree um, with, with what Christine said. And like, just to also know that once upon a time, women weren't you know, able to play basketball or like we weren't. And the fact that we are now and we're growing and it's becoming like, to me, the eye of everything now, like, cause this is the sport that I love to play. And it's given me the ability and our team here, the ability to show off our talents day by day. And it's just a great feeling. And I'm very thankful of Pat and just everyone around. And yeah. Can I ask the significance of the stickers? Oh, um, we went to a children's hospital. Was it last year? It was last Christmas. Last Christmas. And um, it's from um, one of the yeah. children there. Her name's Nevaeh. Um, I don't want to say, you know, what, you know, she has, it's a touchy feeling for me, but it was just, she was, she's here today. She was here the last game too. Gotcha. And um, yeah, so I t we took the stickers. A little extra inspiration? Yeah. Mm -hmm.